Honorable Chair, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, first of all, I thank UNISDR for its relentless effort in coordinating international partnerships for implementing the Sendai Framework, and our host, the Mexican government, for its high commitment for making this important event happy. The German government appreciates that the Sendai Framework is clearly linked to the Paris Agreement and the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Coherence between the different post-2015 frameworks is a crucial prerequisite for achieving sustainable development. Where do we stand two years after adopting the Sendai framework? I can say Germany did its homework. Let me give you some examples. We established the national focal point within our Federal Office of Civil Protection and Disaster Assistance for implementing the Sendai framework. Our focal point will coordinate the monitoring process nationally as part of the global UNISDR monitoring. And it will facilitate a national platform for strengthening the exchange between stakeholders in Germany and beyond. At international level, the German government supports important initiatives that assist other countries to reduce their risk considerably. With a contribution of 3 million euros by Germany, the Climate Risk and Early Warning System initiative promotes programs in high-risk countries like Burkina Faso and Mali to improve and expand early warning systems. Furthermore, Germany works closely with UN organizations, the Red Cross, Red Crescent Movement, and NGOs to strengthen their preparedness capacities. In this regard, we have supported the development of a forecast-based financing approach with 11 million euros since 2014. Based on predefined risk thresholds, humanitarian financing is triggered at a very early stage to enable humanitarian organizations to implement targeted preparedness actions before disasters strike. Climate change leads to increased intensity and frequency of disasters. To protect those in need, the International Initiative on Climate Risk Insurance, the so-called Insure Resilience, was launched at the G7 summit in Elmau in 2015, following a proposal by the German government. The initiative aims to increase the number of poor and vulnerable people who are insured against climate risk in developing countries from 100 million in 2015 to 500 million people by 2020. Up to date, the funding volume of the initiative has mounted up to over 500 million euros. Germany alone has contributed 190 million. Following Hurricane Matthew, Haiti received more than 23 million US dollars in payouts within 14 days from the Caribbean Castrosov Risk Insurance Facility, Secret, allowing the purchase of medicine for children as well as food and shelter for more than 1.4 million people. Millions of people are displaced by disasters every year, and Germany currently chairs the Platform on Disaster Displacement. Disaster displacement needs to be integrated into national and regional DRR strategies in order to reduce displacement risk by effective DRR. At the same time, we need to address the protection needs of disaster-displaced people and promote durable solutions to displacement, such as migration with dignity and participatory planned relocation. Many countries at high risk of disasters are affected by conflict, fragility, and protected crisis. Germany will continue to support these countries through its humanitarian assistance and the instrument of transitional development aid, which helps to link rehabilitation, relief, and structured development. Germany will continue to support its partner countries through be a multilateral development project in strengthening capacities in disaster risk reduction at all levels. And within our humanitarian assistance, we will continue to strengthen our partners in their response and preparedness capacities. 
the advocate for an inclusive and all of society disaster risk management approach, which ensures the involvement of all stakeholders, including people with disabilities, to increase the community resilience. Germany remains a committed partner of, for disaster risk reduction worldwide and for UNISDR. We support UNISDR's efforts in coordinating international strategies on global and regional platforms and monitoring the implementation of the framework. In order to do so, we are going to support UNISDR in 2017 and 18 with 2 million euros. Let me conclude. Let me conclude by underlying the importance of localizing aid. The best strategies can only be successful if communities are engaged with a sense of their own power to reduce risks. This is and will be essential to all our efforts. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Ingrid Gabriela Hoven.